Have you ever set up your work site only to discover your power cord just isn't long enough to reach an outlet? Are you tired of your extension cord causing your tools to go up in smoke? It's time to make a change. Introducing extension cords. Well, the, the correct extension cords for, for the tool that you're using. You get the idea, let's move on. Hello everyone, Nick from Ohio Power Tool here again, and this time we are going to discuss the importance of power cords. Why you ask? Well, just like this video and subscribe to us and I'll tell you all about it. Splurging on new high-end power tools is always fun, but taking the time to choose the right extension cord is often overlooked. Without the proper power cord, your tool may not perform properly and there is a greater risk of fire and electrical shortages. I really wanted to demonstrate this. So I grabbed our amperage meter and tried like hell to show the difference with each cord. I even opened up a Makita 12 inch miter saw and cut a spare six by six post we had and I still couldn't show any difference in the output. There is one thing I learned from all these tests. That Makita miter saw is incredibly badass, and I highly recommend you picking one up. The link's in the description. Even though I couldn't show any amp drop, you gotta think, I made one cut with each cord. Hindsight, what in the hell does that even prove? Facts are facts. You need the appropriate cord to run a tool's amp rating. I'm sure if I kept cutting with that 15 amp saw for an hour or two, that 14 gauge cord would get red hot, which would lead to wrecking the motor. Then lead to me getting my ass chewed out for intentionally burning up a new miter saw. Anyway, let's talk about sizing your cord. The first step to finding the right extension cord is checking the motor amperage of the tool you are using. Make sure that the extension cord you use offers the same amperage or more. Both the length and gauge of the extension cord makes a difference in how it performs. The shorter it is, the more power you'll have. There's a, there's a joke there that I just can't... The thicker the cord, the more amps it can handle. You have 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18 gauge cords. We have a handy amperage chart at the link below to help you determine what gauge cord to use based on your tool's amperage and the length of the cord. I, I think that's it. If I missed anything or you have more tips to share, let me know. One of my favorite hobbies is to talk about extension cords. It's a problem. Be sure to like and subscribe and all the other things. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.